up to the minute weather forecast. NBC 24 Midday, weekdays at 1130. The better Living. I'm Stephanie Martinez in for Charity Freeman today, and I'm a lucky lady. Let me tell you, we have Toledo Native on hand with us. We have Nick Rokiki. I just want to say your last name over and over and over again. First off, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And you're an author. You have two books coming out, one coming out this month, and I want to say it because it's fun to say. Krusty Cupcake's Christmas Catastrophe. It's just fun. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, a, it's a fun Christmas uh -huh. book. And you're wondering, why are we talking about Christmas already? It's National Fire Prevention Month. So the book has a fire safety message in it, and so we wanted to really it in October so that kids could really tie in that fire safety message in a really fun, positive story. Well, we were also talking about it, it is National uh, Bullying Prevention Month. There's also a tie there as well? Yes, exactly. We started out with Pete the Popcorn, came out on Leap Day in 2012. Uh, doesn't use the word bully in the story because it's meant for a young kindergarten, first grade reading level. So we actually won a couple of awards for not using the word bully and it's stressing instead a positive message. So say something nice to each other every single day. Pete actually stands for Pursuing Excellence Through Encouragement. So encourage one another every single day. I absolutely love that your book encompasses encompasses so much positivity. Absolutely. Everyone, this is book number 12, mm -hmm. Krusty Cupcake's Christmas Catastrophe, <laughs> book number 12 in the series, and each book has had a positive social message for children. And it's been so much fun for uh, Joe Kelly, the co-author, and I uh -huh. to go out and talk about these positive messages with kids, and we always present it in a really fun, interesting way. What kid doesn't like cupcakes or popcorn? So we, I don't know one of them. I don't know. <laughs> so we wrap those uh, the messages into a fun storyline. And your co-author is here with us today. You just don't see him up right now, and that's okay. <laughs> Can you tell us some of the other things that you brought along with it? Yes. You? So um, what we're doing is partnering with businesses across the country mm -hmm. to uh, feature their product or store in the story because kids get so excited about reading when they pick up a book and they can connect it with a place that they've been to. So this is a partnership with Krusty, with, I'm sorry, with Campbell Sweets Factory in Cleveland, Ohio. So we brought some of the cupcakes. It's, the storyline is all about the cupcakes are preparing the cupcake shop for the arrival of the Christmas cupcakes. So Krusty the Carrot Cupcake is back. He's our favorite cupcake, the oldest, wisest cupcake in the shop. We've got Rachel the Reindeer Cupcake out there. And of course, in the storyline, one of the cupcakes is eating popcorn. So he's eating the dichotomy popcorn, which is a cheese-coated caramel corn. It's so good. Um, so anyway, it's really, like I said, a fun way for kids to get excited about reading when they can connect it to a place that they've really been to. No only you have that connectivity there, but you have a lesson, a great lesson in the book. Absolutely. It's a fire safety message for kids. Mm -hmm. What we like to do is give um, an, a starting point, basically, for a child to uh, talk about this message with a teacher or a parent. And so it does, there's a subtle fire safety, uh, Krusty the carrot cupcake burns the holiday ham in the oven. Oh, no. But they were just, the firefighters had just recently visited the cupcake shop right. and taught them about fire prevention. So the cupcakes are really um, well prepared in case of fire. They have a fire extinguisher on hand, they have a smoke alarm, and they have a meeting place outside the cupcake shop, which is so important for kids to be aware of. And then the local tie-in, too, we dedicated the book to uh, Steve Machinsky and James Dickman, um, and then also the co-author, Joe, is from Westland, Michigan, and they lost a firefighter there, Brian Welke. So those three are character names in the story. Those are the three firefighters in the storyline. An amazing, amazing yeah. thing that the two of you did. Now, this isn't the only book that you have coming out. You have a second one coming out in November. November, yes, exactly. And that one ties in here locally with Tony Paco's, a little bit of a hint here. Um, it's Pickles, Peppers, and Paprikash. And uh, Tony Paco's, it's a Pete the Popcorn story. And it's all about embracing uh, the heritage of other people. So there's f uh, Hungarian foreign exchange students coming to popcorn prep. Mm -hmm. And they learn to embrace the culture of others and also try new things. Because Tony Paco's has wonderful pickles and peppers, but a lot of kids are probably afraid to try those things so that's probably fun. so yeah. <laughs> and what else do you have with oh, you? we have a little another um a little hint for an upcoming book here's a piggy bank and so here's sparkles this is from directions credit union they've got 20 locations throughout northern ohio mm -hmm. and they're going to be featured in our pete the popcorn book proudly pinching pennies so teaching kids at a very young age about saving your money now why um where did this start for you it started, uh, Joe Kelly, the co-author, his little nephew was being bullied on the school bus. And Joe called me up, he knows I like to write, and he's like, can we do a book, a children's book? And I'm like, I have no idea where to even start with that. But Pete the Popcorn was born out of it. And ever since, we've read to over 100,000 kids in 25 states, and at every single school visit, a parent or a teacher will come up and say, we need to do a book about this. We need to do a book about honesty. We need to do a book about encouragement. And so we take these little um, hints from teachers and parents about what they'd like to see in a book, and we wrap it up in a really fun message 
Heritage for Children and then present it that way. Do you hope to continue to, to do this with more books? Absolutely. We've got, I think, four scheduled already okay. uh, from May, um, before May of next year. Um, next year at this time, we should have about 30 books on, um, on our shelves. And so we're so excited. It's been so much fun. Now, I know you're waiting for me to ask, where can I find one of your books? We really like to go out and hit up local area festivals and craft shows and really get to meet the people. So this weekend, we're going to be at the Grand Rapids Apple Butter Festival from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday, and we'll have all of our books in stock, and come on up and say hi. One of us will be wearing a crazy popcorn costume, and we'll sell you uh, signed copies of the books, and kids get so excited about reading when they get an autographed copy from the author. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure they are. Now, which one of you will be wearing that costume? Uh, I think I'm going to be the lucky winner of uh, that on Sunday. So. <laughs> well, if we happen to miss you then on Sunday, where else can we go? All the time on Amazon or okay. www.petethepopcorn.com. Make sure you follow us on our Facebook page as well, facebook.com slash Pete the Popcorn. We're constantly um, at events all over. And also, if you post a picture of your kids reading our books on our on our Facebook page, that's where we get character names for our upcoming stories. So all of these cupcakes here, like Molly the Marshmallow Cupcake, Caleb the Candy Cane Cupcake, Brandon the Buckeye Cupcake, those are all of our kid fans that have posted on our Facebook page. Really? Yeah, they that's... really love seeing their name in the book then. And the last two, I missed those. Oh, Tammy the Tropical Cupcake, and that's Carlos the Cookies and Cream Cupcake. <laughs> and then remind me the carrot one again. Uh, the carrot one is Krusty the Carrot Cupcake. He's our recurring character in all of our cupcake books. Well, wonderful. Well, I cannot thank you enough for joining us today to highlighting this again. You can catch uh, Nick and his co-author then out there. And remind me of your co-author's name. Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly. Rem go out there, say hello, Grand Rapids, for the Apple Butter Festival on Sunday. Thanks so much. Thank you for sticking with us. We'll be right back.